Welcome to The Source Show. I'm Kathleen. Hey, I'm Sheila. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Carrie. And today we are talking about communication, although we are not going to communicate our location. <laughs> We're in a very exotic location. We're drinking on vacation. Prosecco. <laughs> Cheers. Yes. Well, the classy girls got the wine. This girl's got a beer. <laughs> Cheers. That's why we Cheers. all get along. Seriously, welcome yeah. to the Source Show. We are talking about communication today because it's so key to mm. everything. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about communication with your spouse, your family, your coworkers, your boss. It's critical. Your friends. Yes. Your friends. I, your each friends. other. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> I have a polite but quiet and non-communicative fiance. So we've been working with Janice Barkley at Barkley and Associates over um, down mm. in the, near the square. And she's fabulous. I recommend her. So well. you're talking so about working, working with her. As... She's a counselor. So we've been doing our pre-marriage counseling and learning to communicate Yay. better with her. She's awesome. That's awesome. She's been very valuable in our learning to communicate better. Mm -hmm. I think Mike, uh, probably maybe your spouses as well, um, tend to be um, in our shadows at times. And that can be, he gets, sometimes he gets a little fed up with me running the show. So he's learning how to speak up ahead of time before he gets frustrated. That is great. You know what? Okay, I love that, that number one is caring enough about something that you go get help so mm -hmm. that it is better. Absolutely. I love that. Here's, you just said something interesting I've never thought about. Men being in our shadows because we, but... I mean, well, it's like the chicken or the egg. What comes first? Because sometimes we're put in that position yeah. because they're not picking up the pieces, or you know, like how does that happen? Or sometimes you're you're just naturally driven and you're naturally right. yeah, a leader. And, and I think we and all know women. Okay. Women, we are better multitaskers. I think that's mm -hmm. not even um, a debate. Right. So, so we tend to just pick up the pieces anyway. Yeah. But then some women want to fuss about it. I'm doing everything, but we chose to do everything. That is true. Well, That's we also works. have careers where we're we're in charge of our own destiny, so we're taking charge of so our lives things. and our businesses. And whereas mm -hmm. Mike, in particular, um, just doesn't have like before he met me, he didn't have so much going on. We're going here, we're filming, we've got clients to show property, we got to get you know to a business, this and that. Yeah. So he's like, I'm having so much fun, but Lord, are you busy? You're a busy girl. Okay, well, that's true. He wasn't used to your schedule, so yeah. that works. And that's Lane true. and I work in real estate together as, as a team, so we work yeah. together all day long. <laughs> and Lane is an amazing communicator. He and is. Yeah, he, he, he's amazing. In fact, my counselor released me and said, your husband does for you what, you know, I'm going to save you 100 bucks an hour. Um, but it's about communication because I'm a, not just a hot mess. I've talked about this. I'm a spicy disaster all the time. I'm like, whoop, all the time. But it takes talking through that because mm -hmm. Lane doesn't get that because he's Mr. Zen but it's about mm -hmm. talking through why I'm the way that I am and he can tell me to calm down and chill out but mm -hmm. that's me that's how I'm wired and that's how I work the best but it's communicating it's just talking about these things well and yeah. men I mean it's a it's a known fact statistically women speak almost twice the number of words in a day that a man speaks and that's just natural mm -hmm. that is the difference between men and women you have an exception. Um, Billy talks a lot. My, my husband speaks a lot, so he's not a real quiet one by any means. But when you have someone who is a little quieter, maybe a little more introverted, that can be a challenge. Mm -hmm. If you're talking 120,000 words a day and yeah. they come home at the end of the day and they've already used half of their 50,000 words and they're about spent, their bank mm -hmm. account of words is about empty. So. Yeah, yeah, and you unload, and then you're waiting on the response, and then yeah, nothing comes back, and you're like, what? That's right. Their bank account of yeah. words is almost spent, so yeah. you have to understand that. When I think about communication, and I, I think about, like, how is how are you communicating? I think you have to consider your source each time. Is this person better if I text this person? Is this topic better over the phone? Is this topic better in person? Oh, that's a good point. How am wow. I going to communicate this? If it's like a real estate transaction and you've got to call somebody about a bad appraisal or an inspection, you need to go be in person. If it's, yay, appraisal's great, just send a text. Woohoo, we're moving that's on. That's true, and it really depends. Yeah. It depends on who you're dealing with. And as you know, we're all in real estate. And, and I have found that my more mature clients want to see me. They want to see me and talk to me face to face. If we can't do it face to face, they want a phone call. They're really not that interested in mm -hmm. text. Text is very impersonal to them. Well, body language, facial expressions, that's tone. what, 80% tone? That's 80% of communication. Looking in your eyes, yeah. knowing that, hey, she's saying mm -hmm. this is a problem, but in her eyes, she looks very confident that she's going to move forward and handle yeah. this for us. Mm -hmm. But also, 
breaking news to your spouse about something or you know, whatever it is. Well, wow. and that's right. And you know, we, my husband and I have talked about this a lot because he was diagnosed with prostate cancer a couple of years ago and the doctor came in and literally after, hey, how are you doing? Maybe a minute and a half of small talk, he went straight for the jugular and said, you have prostate cancer. And there was no lead in, there was no softness to it. And, and we were, I have to say, we fired him that day and went a different route for his treatment. And had he gone the surgical route, we wouldn't have chosen that doctor. See, that, you so know what? Delivery. I, that's exactly everything. what I'm talking about because he's so used to that being his job every day and mm -hmm. just delivering news, and that's his job, and out he goes. Same thing like with a real estate agent. Uh, we need to understand that just because we see bad appraisals three times a month doesn't mean that client does or mm -hmm. a bad inspection. So you can't lose sight of how important it is even though you do it every day. That's right. Delivery is everything. You can deliver the worst news in the best possible manner. It's yeah. not what you say, it's how you say it. Exactly. That's true. Yeah, I like that. Timing is important too. How Absolutely. you deliver it, what is your tone, and your timing of news sometimes. Okay. Like, honey, I bought $200 shoes. Like, when are you going to tell me? Like, after a drink or before a drink? <laughs> so, no. we need to slow down. Is that what we're saying for us? Um, take charge people that are extroverts. Maybe we need to slow down and pay attention to body language and tone. And I don't know. Some people, you may think you're really good at it. If you got tips, you know, you can share those with us. I think communicating, period, if you've got something you want to tell somebody. I mean, here, think about this, too, like with your kids. Who else is going to tell your child what a great job they did at something if you don't do it so remember to communicate things mm -hmm. no one is I'm not going to randomly call my neighbor's son and say you know that was great <laughs> but you know <laughs> if you're not delivering that to your spouse to your sister to your child to your brother who else is going to do it so never be afraid to raise somebody up don't you think I, I totally agree yeah and in it to me listening is critical we, t we talk about communication mm -hmm. we're talking a lot but if you're not listening, have you ever known someone who asks you a question and before you can begin to answer the question, they're already talking about something else? Absolutely. They're not listening. Right. So yeah. I would just encourage everybody to just be still for a minute. And when someone is talking, look them in the eye and truly hear what they are saying. And I think that from that you'll gain a better understanding of what they're trying to tell you. And so that is and communicating. That opens yeah. the door of communicating. Being a good listener as well mm -hmm. as a good talker. I'm going to tell on my husband real quick because he communicated something to me last night that he has never <laughs> said, and it was amazing how it made me feel, and it's okay, it's safe. Um, <laughs> okay, no, we, seriously, literally, we were having dinner last night, and he just said that he had been thinking during the day, because I was doing open houses, and he was in Nashville, and, you know, doing his own thing, taking care of some stuff for going out of town, but we were eating dinner, and he said that he just really had stopped yesterday, and thank God, he said, how do I get to have such an incredible wife that supports every single thing I do. He goes, how do I get Cheers to that? to Diamond yeah. Day. Yeah. 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 Cheers, yeah. Yeah. Cheers to Diamond Day for communicating what he was thinking. Yes, I told and, you. And not keeping and it. And you don't know what it yes. means to me to hear these words come out of And your I'm going to tell you, I was at Diamond Day show on Saturday, and I actually looked at you, friend, and thought the very same thing. Oh. I thought she is so supportive, yeah. and, and yes. she loves her yes. husband, and he loves her so much. I was watching you, too. And I did. I, I just thought y'all were just so precious. Yeah, we get one life. I'm going to just wrap up and enjoy everything that's been gifted to me. So encourage yeah. you to do that, too. And communicate well. Yes, communicate well. Yeah. I'm going to communicate to you all. Um, how are you not sweating? I'm, 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 I'm it's trying to down my spine. Okay, right because y'all don't look at like I feel like I'm melting, oh, and I'm going to communicate as hot as balls out here. That's why I got to communicate to you all. It looks like you all are not sweating at all, and I feel like I'm drenched. Anyway, we're glowing. Oh, it's running okay. down everybody. Part. Thank you. I feel so much better. Jar faking it, I think better than I am. I got to find out what makeup face you're using. Um, Help tip. Help tip. Okay, somebody asked me recently about swimming. And how long should you wait after lightning oh. or thunder? And this is the health tip, is that you are to wait before you get back in the water 30 minutes after the last clap of thunder or flash of lightning. 30 minutes, then it's safe to get back in the water. Mm -hmm. I, okay. know that. That's your I thought tip. you were about to tell how, how soon you can swim after a full belly. <laughs> Immediately. Okay, did y'all have to do that? When no, we got to I said yes. wait 30 minutes before you swim. That is a myth. Yeah. You can you can eat in the pool and swim. That is a complete myth. You are not going to get cramps We've and sink to the bottom. <laughs> so, yes. yes, yep, yes. That is a myth. You can eat and dive right in. No Very problem. Good. Okay. Yes. 
I think that we'll do a show soon in the pool, showing you how you can eat and be in the pool. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's and drink. It's that so works. hot. You almost <laughs> had it today in our clothes. <laughs> All right. All right. Awesome. What yes. you got, a quote? Yes, I do. I do. I love this quote, and I honestly have to tell you, I have no idea who said it. Some of our viewers may know. But it goes like this. A wise man speaks when he has something to say. A fool speaks when he has to say something. Mm. Think about that. You're making me think of a great quote that's <laughs> out there about small-minded people. Talk about this. Genius is, you know what I'm saying? I know is that it, quote. What is that okay, quote? Um, it's like small-minded people talk about people. It, it, anyway, you have to Google that one. Yeah, we're going to find I love one. yours, too. We'll I like that. that. Okay. All right. All we're right. going to communicate some more. Thanks so much yes. for tuning in. Stay That's cool. Soar. Soar.